Welcome to see man over the just we are back with Genshin Impact. Okay, now now these are gonna be a series of videos that I'm planning to do. Where partially it's an account review and partially it's a team comm discussion. Now everybody knows how team comms or well, well they should know how team comms is, should work in this game. It's basically character stats, alt and abilities complement each other to well make the ability stronger like throwing Bennett on every single team hi Bennett how's Inazuma looking? oh ow where did that come from? I'm on 75 putty so as soon as Raiden Shogun shows up hopefully I get her I'll recall that for sure but I I don't I don't have faith look I might have pulled the Yamiko early but I think that's a fluke until I pull another character early Yamiko was a fluke okay <laughs> Last time I remember when Raiden Shogun came out, I actually fucking... I, I pulled until the last day. The very last, last, last day. And I pulled Chi Chi. I fucking pulled Chi Chi. Where is that dead zombie baby bitch? Come here, you dead zombie baby bitch. Not you, dead zombie baby bitch. This dead zombie baby bitch. Oh, man. I pulled Chi Chi. It was my C1 for Chi Chi. Now the other no banner, the Luke C3. I still don't have a Mona. I have every single uh, free to play grab in the game. Every single one of them with multiple constellations. But no Mona. I actually need Mona for my Ayaka team. No Mona. Them ties though, man. Like, I, all, all I want Mona is for them ties. But, like, motherfucker, don't even let me, no one let me have Mona. Like, look at Hachi. They're like, she, look at Hachi. Where's a good place to... Yeah, let me get to my Serena teapot. Let's go talk about team comms in my Serena teapot. And the Aimeco set because the Aimeco is there for... For reasons. For, for, for thumbnail reasons. For thumbnail purposes, the Aimeco needs to be there. Alright, this is team comm number one. Jan Faye, Bennett, Rosaria, Diona, who I can't talk to till she's too far away. How's it going guys? Okay, so Yanfei is my main DPS. Speaking of, now we go to Yanfei. Now, as far as artifacts go, Yanfei running her on two-piece crimson and two-piece gladio would be the way to go. But I sort of stopped giving a fuck because I have a really good, well, sort of good, Sands of Eon of Savage Freight. I could easily like throw maybe this on her which would lower my crit damage or this one which would lower my crit rate and I never really work much on gladiator pieces to begin with I mean I, these are the only two characters I have gladiator pieces on the other characters would be those of flowers or, or feathers as you can see oh, no, feather, no feathers even but yeah I run a two piece and two piece I could go I do have another set for where I run her on wondrous troop Wondrous troop, wondrous troop, wondrous, no, just not really. But it only increases charge attack damage, it kind of weakens her normal attack damage. So I decided to leave shit as is and keep the wondrous troop piece for in case I maybe get, well, I don't know, gun you in the future. Hopefully, maybe, please. Come on, hell, you're gonna spin. I need, I need that guy on you. So, I need. If I could get a crit rate, wondrous troop, right, instead of a crit damage one, then I could run the wizard instead of solar pearl on her, and then still keep my damage ratio while also having been able to either run this for charge. I could run this to get an extra charge. The Rico tails that you got from the what's the fucking uh, Sandy Archipelago event. Um, or the words that they are, which would give you the extra 45% crit damage. And the, both of those are good, provided I would have gotten like a wondrous to crit rate with crit damage on it. But these are her subs. These are her uh, uh, stats of sorts. Crit rate 54, 52, crit damage 166. Mm -hmm. And don't forget also, I'm running Rosaria and Iona. Both the alts <laughs> freeze everyone, causes all a freeze. Because it gives cryo, puts cryo on everyone, both the alts. So when both of the alts are crying everyone, you can kind of guess that 
everything's gonna get a buff. Mm. I've at C6. So that means you got shields, heals, and lots of steals. Oh, don't forget the Scarlet Seals. Rhymes, I've got him. <laughs> Eight, nine, seven, I never bothered with this. Literally, I had a bunch of gold books one day and I was like, Yanfei? Sure. All right. Teammate number two, Rosaria. Uh, 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 sexy goth nun. Sexy goth nun. Whose boobs keep getting nerfed. Seriously, Rosaria. I feel so sorry for you. Because one, the dress you wear make your neck look like a stick and your head look extremely large compared to your body. Just saying. Not a lot of people likes to uh, talk about that. Look at it. The way it makes a leg and neck look extremely big. Well, let me look at any other character. Wrong, wrong example. Is it just me? Yeah. Rosaria's head look extremely big due to that on the next look like fucking giraffe anyways I'm running dragon spine spear you could run the catch for that energy recharge and the alt boost I was running the catch but sometimes I like to run her as like sort of a sub DPS where I go in attack a bit but the catch is pretty good on that although my issue with the catch is fishing I don't like fishing in this game I've tried and tried and tried again Maybe I'll do a video where the entire video is me fishing and getting pissed at Paimon. Substats is going 56% to 113 grade damage. Look, you will understand why sometimes having, let's say, lower crit damage numbers isn't a problem for me. And that is to do with Diona. I will see one. This is one of the characters where you, you never pull her. You, no matter what the banner is, ever since the first banner, like a first banner, I pulled six barbers. A first banner, I pulled six barbers. I pulled a C6 barber on Rosaria's first banner. And that pushed me off. Come on. Oh, but I need two piece blizzard and two piece oh bless oblige. As you can see, we got crit damage on the hang. We got crit damage on the hang. More crit damage. Crit damage. Crit damage. Crit damage. Crit damage. It actually honestly these could be better all of them if I were willing to put in the effort because these are all the off pieces I had except for the flower because the flower is the one I was running on on um, Ayaka there but because I rolled one with crit rate that she needed more Ayaka shit could also get a boost but I, since I got Ayaka I just didn't give a fuck when I got the fortune sticks when fortune sticks just came out I farmed for other characters like the noblesse pieces I got for Sucrose <laughs> and then all the Sucrose Noblesse pieces rolled crazy crazy and then all of the ones I put on Rosaria like were the off pieces I rolled for Sucrose so C1 talent 2 3 4 would you believe I hit super hard even though the talents are so low do I want to though do I want to though do I want to I say Oh, that should be good enough. Three, five, six. That should be good enough. I didn't even, I didn't even know. I forgot talents existed on that. I forgot. I forgot talents existed on that. But yeah, 56%, 113, 157% energy, energy recharge. Depending on if you're running Dragon Spine Spear, if you want to go sort of sub DPS, load it in, attack a bit, trying to get that physical damage up. But yeah, cryo damage on the hang. Next team member, Bennett. No, I refuse to show my Bennett. Uh, I refuse to show my Bennett stats. I know I sound like I'm pulling off a Tectone, but I've seen Tectone's Bennett. Not, not what he has on him. But I managed to get my numbers close enough to his, where if I were to C5 my Bennett, I say C5 for a reason, I would heal as much and buff as much as Tectone's Bennett does. T -t 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 let me just say, that is nothing but the truth and the ultimate truth here, yeah, okay? Speaking of Rosaria, sacrificial bow for the double E. I think she has like low crit. Yeah, I, I don't really care for the crit. What she's here for is mainly to boost on the... on Because uh, I have a C6. So, is it Cat Tail's closing time? Where, yeah. Elemental mastery is increased by 200%. HP is above 50%. So, Bennett... 
with his ult to buff everybody's attack. She buffs everybody's elemental mastery. Rosaria gives crit rate. And then Yanfei comes out and makes an explosion. You, like, I don't know. Who is better in the situation of explosions? Cleo Yanfei. Who makes bigger boom? Cleo Yanfei. Bakum? Bakum. You guys know Bennett exists. But you will never know what he has. For Bennett is God. Bennett is God. Yo, Bennett, Bennett Banashi, bitch. Do a thing on a thing. Let's light it up. Incinerate. Okay. Damage numbers already being processed. I'm gonna let the second run out. Ah, no. Challenge again. Alright. So, Bennett. Down. Get the EM on his audio. Oh, in charge. Oh, come on. Get into my circle. Oh, no. It's not working. Well, you guys can see the numbers being hit. I'm just not hitting it the way it's supposed to be hit. Yo, get your ER up quick. Come on, quick. We don't have time to waste. ER. Give me the ER. Give me the ER. Give me, Give me the ear. Give me the ear. Give me the ear. Shoot the bitch. Shoot the bitch. Do not come out of the town. It's chicken time. It's chicken. It's chicken, 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 chicken. Come on. Come on, team. You can do it. We need the Andrei to clap the damage. I need your support. I need your financial support. Okay, I'm out. Time for your training. Boom. I'm hitting such low damage, wow, I'm actually hitting less than I normally do. I'm kind of depressed by that. If I hit harder with a wonder, it's true, I'm going to be both happy and sad. I'm going to also, let, let's go. My crit would decrease by 10%, so she's sitting on 42. Nah, not worth it. Let's do it like this. Try the Wanderer's Troop set. The Wanderer Troop A. Hey, you dick! Shooting me while I'm opening my domains? It's not how things supposed to work, man. It's not how things supposed to work. Uh, oh, oh, no, no. I'm oh, sorry. And charge attack. Fuck you. I'm eating the same. Weird. Something is wrong. I don't know what's wrong. I don't fucking know what's wrong. It's the same. It's the same. The only thing I can think of that could be what I'm tripping on and why I saw me, me hit 60k is with the wisdom. Let's give it a run. Let's give it a run. Although, if I do run the this, I'm gonna need to pile them up. Pile them up. I'm not as lazy as I usually am to run artifact runs, but I'm so fucking sick of playing domains at this point. Um, I mean, I've, I've spent months upon months making a fucking fortune stick video. And if the domains don't, like, I'm just sick of domains. I'm happy to fight like. When Raiden Shogun boss fight was released, I was happy to fight that because it was something fucking good. Alright, oh. you can't run! Go. Oh. Go. Teamwork is dreamwork! Ain't having your dreams! Oh, punishment! Inadmissible evidence! There we go, that's the numbers I'm looking for! That's the numbers! I'm for. And I'm happy with that. Well, as you can see, these team comps are really fucking good. The Yanfe, Rosario, Bennett, Diona is insanely great. The greatness is unreal. Especially the fact that my Bennett is like crazy. The only thing I need is a C5 on Bennett. So, the only thing I need, I have C1. I need four more. I need four more. I need true explorer. Come on, game. It's a character I wanted since the game came out. And 
Every time he would be out in the shop, I wasn't able to buy him because I never have enough star glitter because I always used it for uh, pulling on <laughs> the whip on the character banner. And I never had Bennett until... When did I get Bennett? Whose banner had Bennett lost? Whoever's banner, banner had Bennett lost, I got Bennett a week before that, my first Bennett. And then I pulled the C1 Bennett on the back. And that was fucking annoying because I wanted Bennett to the beginning of the game. Just like Mona, I wanted Mona ever since I saw Mona and Mona because who doesn't want which, which, which women? Who doesn't want fucking Megumin? I mean, come on! Annoying, annoying. But you guys saw the first team comp, this is the first team comp video of me playing. I'm gonna probably do my Geo team next. Sort of showing. How exactly they built and then going from there I you see running Yunjin isn't a problem but this isn't a geo team optimalism is like the main here I think it's more of uh, the attack buff this is like the attack buff for the main DPS team but yeah this is your man of bullet cream just want to like subscribe check out our main channel exhausted gamers on links in the description I think and then probably our Instagrams and etc. This is Exhausted Genshin. Yeah, pray for me. Because one, the dress you wear make your neck look like a stick and your head look extremely large compared to your body. Just saying. Not a lot of people likes to uh, talk about that. Look at it. The way it makes a leg and neck look extremely big.